Mastering formal English. Using fillers effectively. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on mastering the art of conversation in English. In today's episode, we are going to delve into the fascinating world of fillers. Those little words or phrases that you can use to buy some time while thinking of what to say next. More specifically, we will focus on using fillers in formal conversations. Yes, fillers aren't just for casual chats. They have a place in formal discussions too. Let's get started. In spoken English, fillers are words or phrases that don't add any specific meaning to the sentence. They are often used to fill gaps in conversation when you're thinking or hesitating. Examples of fillers include, ah, uh, um, like, you know, and so. However, when it comes to formal conversations, the use of these typical fillers can sometimes be seen as unprofessional or a sign of nervousness. This doesn't mean you have to avoid fillers altogether. Rather, we'll look at different, more suitable fillers you can use in formal contexts. The trick to using fillers in a formal conversation is to choose words or phrases that can serve a double purpose, filling the pause and contributing to the conversation. Here are a few examples. Indeed, this filler can be used to agree with a previous statement and at the same time give you a moment to think of your next sentence. Example. Indeed, that is a valid point you've made. Let me see, or, let's see. Use this when you need a moment to think or when you're about to propose something. Example. Let me see. If we adjust our timeline slightly, interestingly, this can be used to shift the focus or introduce a new idea. Example, interestingly, recent studies have shown. It's important to remember that fillers serve a critical function in conversation. They allow the speaker to maintain control of the conversation while they gather their thoughts. However, they must be used sparingly in formal situations. Overuse of fillers can make the speaker seem unprepared or unsure. So, while it's helpful to use these words and phrases, always strive to keep your language clear and concise. That's it for today's lesson on using fillers in formal conversations. Remember, fillers are not your enemy, even in formal contexts. It's all about knowing the right ones to use and using them judiciously. Practice using these fillers and you'll find your formal conversations becoming smoother and more natural. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing. We hope this video has been helpful and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, happy learning!